So one of the questions that comes up a lot is what kind of adapter do I need for my electronics when I take them to Europe? So we're going to take a look at three different types of adapter. Uh, this is the uh, simplest type. It's just a converter from the typical American plug into the two round pins. Now the two round pins are used in most of Europe, so France, Italy, Germany, Spain, Scandinavia. Most of Western Europe is on this two pin design. Uh, so this is something you can use in most countries uh, in Europe. Very simple design. A uh, disadvantage of this is that it kind of hangs out there. If you see if we plug in the, this Canon battery charger and we put it on there, it kind of kind of sticks out a little bit. Um, the next level up from that is a full plug converter and that's what this is here. And so you've got the two round pins. You've also got a grounding socket on this particular uh, plug adapter. And then on the other side, this is universal. So you can see it's got all kinds of plugs that it will convert from British, uh, American, Australian, you name it, it will convert from that. So again, you can just plug in your uh, battery charger like that and it seems to work pretty well. The other type of converter you can get is you know, sort of universal. So here it's set up for Europe, you have a little uh, slot on the side, a switch, and uh, you switch it over to uh, do the different conversions. So this is Europe, uh, you've got the UK version where you slide out those three square pins like that. Uh, so this is a little bit more expensive. I got this one uh, at an airport. It's uh, branded Samsonite. Uh, I think I've also got this one at an airport and this came uh, in a package of uh, plug converters. So that's basically what you need for most electronics and that means your cameras, your phones, laptops, pretty much all modern electronics. And the way to tell is to take a look at the back of whatever it is, the device and take a look at the input and what you're looking for is something that says from hundreds of volts up to 240, 250 volts. So 240 volts is what's used in the UK, most of Europe is on 220 and essentially what this says is that this device here will automatically switch to the right voltage that's required uh, based on the input. So you don't have to do anything, you just plug it in and it works. Now you've really got to check if you're not really sure and good example of something that may be more difficult is this uh, hairdryer that you can see here and when we look on the back there what we can see is that it's 1900 watts and that's quite a lot of power uh, 125 volts AC 60 Hertz that's it so this hairdryer will only work in the United States and in fact if you try and plug that one in in Europe uh, it'll probably catch fire it uh, may blow a fuse uh, maybe some protection but uh, in general things like this don't take them with you uh, they're not going to work and in fact they might be dangerous if you plug them in so instead you should get yourself a travel uh, hairdryer so here's one and you see on the travel hairdryer it has a switch down here where you can switch it between 125 volts and 250 volts if you got something that you really really need to take with you First thing I would ask is, are you sure you really need to take it? Um, in a lot of cases, you don't really need things like hair dryers. Uh, hotels typically have a hair dryer. But if you really do, you can buy a, a converter or a transformer from somewhere like Radio Shack, and that will do voltage conversion. The thing you have to watch out for there is the amount of power that's required. So again, on the back of the box, it tells you what the power requirement is. So this is uh, 21 uh, volt amps to 27. So 27 watts, 21 to 27 watts is the, uh, is the power that's required, so not very much for a little battery converter, but if you've got something like a hairdryer, 1900 watts, the size of the transformer there is going to be enormous because you need a lot of wiring uh, to not, in order to make a transformer take that kind of power. So you can get transformers for some devices, but you've really got to watch the power and they can get very bulky and very heavy very quickly. The other thing that I'm going to recommend that you take with you is a little travel adapter. This is great for making friends at the airports. A little uh, power strip is basically what it is. So very small, it could be folded up and this one has three power outlets and a plug on the other end. So this is especially good for making friends uh, at airports 
where you're trying to get your electronics charged up, maybe trying to charge your phone or your laptop before that 10 hour flight. And when you take a look at all the outlets, you'll see there'll be people skulking around the airport looking for outlets to plug in their electronics. And most of the time, all the plugs will have gone. So take one of these things with you. You can actually share it with somebody else. They can plug their stuff in, you can plug your stuff in and everyone's gonna love you and you'll get all your stuff done. So there you have it. That's uh, the short guide to converters and voltages and things like that. My name is Matthew Lodge and head to lodgephoto.com uh, for more articles and videos and a blog like this and to take a look at some photographs. Thanks.